Autumn soon comes to an end. The days are getting colder and the leaves are almost all fallen down. As I'm uploading this video, the first snow already fell. Whenever it gets cold outside, it's the perfect time for some cozy recipes. In my last video I made apple turnovers. This time I give you the exact recipe. I also show you how to make simple butternut pumpkin puree, a two ingredient chocolate mousse and carrot patties. Since pumpkins and apples are representatives of autumn, I also use them in the recipes. So let's begin with the simplest one. You need 100 grams of dark chocolate and 250 grams kidney beans. Start with warming up the water. The chocolate will be melted in a warm water bath. Be careful not to boil the water. If you make the chocolate too warm, it will not melt properly and crumble instead. Meanwhile, mix the kidney beans until smooth. Add 100 ml of the cooking water if you cook the beans yourself. If you use canned ones, there's usually a bit of cooking water inside, so use the complete contents. Whenever your water is warm enough, you can start melting the chocolate. As I just mentioned, be careful that the water is not boiling and give the chocolate time to melt slowly. As soon as it's nice and creamy, you can mix it into your bases, and that's basically everything. I'm sure this dessert is yummy in every season, but I love it during the colder days. The chocolate kinda gives me a warm and cozy feeling. Don't worry about the taste. After you mix the beans with chocolate, you wouldn't believe the base is actually made of beans. It'll only taste very chocolatey. After you filled the mousse into small containers, you should leave it to cool for at least one hour, preferably two. The mousse will become firm and gets a nice creamy texture. There should be enough mousse for four portions. My next recipe is made of autumn's most common vegetable, the pumpkin. Make sure your knife is very sharp, so that it's easier to cut through the hard skin of the pumpkin. Before starting, preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Afterwards, get rid of the seeds, remove the stem and cut into equally sized pieces. For my recipe, I used butternut pumpkin, but I'm sure any other edible one will do just fine. The great thing about this dish is that it consists of just one ingredient and spices. And as you probably already know, I like very simple and few steps recipes. Before putting it into the oven, I seasoned it with a little salt and pepper. I add more spices to the puree later. Let it bake for about 25 minutes. The pumpkin should now be soft enough to easily mix it with a blender. For spices I used again salt and pepper as well as nutmeg. 
In my opinion, this is one of the easiest and most delicious autumn meals possible. These days it starts to get dark outside at 4 pm. The air gets colder every day. While filming this video, it still felt like the typical November autumn in Germany. A lot of wind and rain. But you basically know that winter is almost here. The next recipe are the apple turnovers, you saw in my last video. I used 6 medium sized apples, removed the cores and cut them into cubes. You should best use apples that already got a bit softer. They usually are a bit more sweet instead of sour and give the filling a much better consistency. Boil the apples with 300 ml water, 2 tablespoons of sugar and a pinch of cinnamon. Let the apples cook on medium heat until you can easily mash them with a fork. During cooking, the apples in combinations with the cinnamon give off a great smell that will get you in the mood for the upcoming Christmas season. In the meantime, I prepare the dough. I use 500 grams of spelt flour, 250 ml oat milk, 4 tablespoons of rapeseed oil, a pinch of salt and a bit of syrup. I use blueberry syrup, but any other one, like agave or maple, should work as well. In general, the syrup is an optional ingredient. The apple filling should already be sweet enough. Mix all ingredients until you end up with a kind of sticky dough. You then start to net the dough and keep adding flour, until it's no longer sticky. Your dough should still have a soft consistency, so that it's easier to form it. If it gets too firm, just add a bit more oat milk, and if it gets too soft, add a bit more flour. Now separate small pieces. They should be about the size of your palm. Depending on the size of your hand, they will be a bit bigger or smaller, but you can adjust it the way you want them to be. Now form circles and roll them out thinly, but be careful not to make them too thin, otherwise they will tear quickly. Mash your apples with a fork. You don't need to be too accurate. A mix of bigger and smaller pieces gives you a bit more texture. Use one or two spoons for each turnover. Don't put too much filling in or you will have the same problem with tearing the dough. After that, gently fold the dough in half and press the edges with your fingers. That way you create small bags. Now carefully put the turnovers on your baking plate. You can now cover them with a bit of bland milk, which makes the crust more crunchy. But this step is optional. Put them inside the oven for 15 minutes. I added 5 more minutes because they were still a bit soft. These are definitely one of my favorite autumn pastries. As autumn slowly comes to an end, it feels a little bit like a goodbye to the year 2023. As the weather becomes colder every day, the world around us becomes more silent. Nature, as well as our bodies, kind of prepare for the long rest. I used these last autumn days to look for some mushrooms in the forest. I wanted to make a sauce or soup out of them. Normally it should already be a bit too late for edible mushrooms. But the weather was warm enough and it rained a lot so I gave it a try. 
It's really fascinating how quickly it gets dark outside in late autumn. It was only 20 minutes past 4 p.m. when I left the house, but it felt like 7 p.m. about a month ago. Sadly, I only found mushrooms I don't know. The ones I usually pick were not there. Nevertheless, the short walk into the forest was definitely invigorating. The atmosphere in the forest was really great at this afternoon. It felt like a typical November autumn day. After a long day of mostly being inside, it felt so good to breathe the fresh forest air. On my last recipe I decided to make carrot patties. I used three big carrots and shredded them. You should cut away the green top parts, because they tend to be a bit bitter. The second main ingredient are oats. I used 300 grams and shredded them with a food processor. You don't need to be too accurate here either, to give your patties more texture. Now you basically just need to mix the carrots and the oats together and add some spices. I also added maybe 50 milliliters of water. I used a pinch of salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, paprika and a bit of chili if you like it spicy. The next step is very important for the patties to stick together. Net the mixture really well now. You kinda need to squeeze out the liquid and soak the oats in it. As soon as the mass begins to get sticky, you can form little balls. I made them about the size of my palm again, but you can choose whatever size you want them to be. Now press them down a bit and you will get the typical patty shape. I put them into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. And that's basically all you have to do. You can put the patties on a sandwich or enjoy them with a dip. After baking them I realized that you don't really taste the salt, so I recommend putting the salt on top of your patties whenever they are baked, instead of mixing it inside. I hope I could give you some simple food inspirations to warm up during this cold autumn and upcoming winter days. If you got any questions, just let me know in the comment section down below. Have a great week and see you in my next video.